Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Just Some Bodhi's Opinion. My name is Bodhi and the Wheel of Time dropped this Marine's Quest on Amazon. And actually I'm getting pretty nervous because of the fact that I'm in Singapore and it seems like I don't have access to the Amazon content on Amazon Prime. When I was redirected to the app, I was told that that my account wasn't in the US and that's why I couldn't see any of the content. Even now, if I search for Wheel of Time on the app, I can't find uh, the Wheel of Time. So I'm really worried. Um, I hope, I don't know, uh, I, I guess it's a VPN thing, but um, even with VPN, I wasn't able to access. So mm, Wheel of Time, please, Rafe. Anyway, after that, all of that content was finally released on all the social media. So I've got the one on YouTube here in front of me right now and um, this isn't the first time I'm watching it because I woke up at 3 a.m. because my phone had a notification that Maidens of Despair. So I've seen this already so it won't be my raw raw reactions but it was so beautiful that I it's it's close enough it will be close enough to my raw reactions and we can you know check out what else was in there and what struck me okay so let's watch the video now. I am Moraine Sedai. 20 years ago, I learned a secret, a vision of a baby being born, a baby who could change the world. In the last age, the Dark One was trapped by the last dragon at the cost of almost everything. 20 years ago, the last dragon was reborn. We don't know where or to whom. What I do know is that my mission is to find them. But we're running out of time. The Dark One is waking. His whispers are already in the backs of our minds. If I do not succeed, the Earth itself will burn. And the whole world will turn to darkness. Ram blowing, guys. Ram blowing. There will oh, be so one beautiful. who can stand against him. Look at those coats. The dragon has been born again. Who is the dragon reborn? Okay, I have no idea how many times I've watched this, but it's so beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful. Um, I mean, starting shot, right? Dawn on a mountain range it's so pretty and then so i love i love how this is all in moraine's point of view it's really giving me new spring vibes but not not young immature moraine new spring vibes but the fully formed flowered mature moraine and it's it's glorious because um, we, we see everything in her point of view. It's her quest. It's uh, versus the eye of the world where she's like this super mysterious stranger who you don't know if if she's good or bad or, or whatever because it's all in Rand's point of view. It's just really nice to see it in Moraine's point of view. I am Moraine Sedai. And I am Moraine Sedai. It's... Uh, First of all, Rand looks so comfy in this wool sweater and Matt's looking very disheveled. I feel like this is the time when they're talking about like seeing Dan the Mirror Girl popping up here and there. And look at the details of these cups, these ale mugs. They look so beautiful. Like we can put a Dusty Wheel logo on top of those. Maybe they can sell these things. Anyway. So, um, first caption, a vision of a baby being born, a baby who could change the world. And we see the three, the three boys. So another thing, I love that uh, we're finally seeing more of the boys. Okay, let's get go on. A baby who could change the world. A baby who could change the world. Cut to Moraine just looking off. In the last <gasps> Aldi. Hi, Aldi. She's so tall. I didn't know that. I didn't think Aldib was so tall. To all you haters out there about Aldib must be as small as a pony and, and Moraine Sedai is just like four feet tall. It's 
it's an adaptation, guys. Calm down. Let's let's breathe in the beauty of both Aldi and Moraine. The dark one was trapped. The dark one was trapped, and then it shows this dark figure going inside, which we saw in the trailer and the teaser trailer. Who split? There, this is a split of two things. This is either Dan the Mirror or Lan. I think it's Lan. I think this is a mystery. Last dragon at the cost of everything. So beautiful. The, the cinematography there was so beautiful. The last dragon at the cost of almost everything, cut from bell time to these shrouds. Beautiful. 20 years ago, the last dragon. Beautiful landscapes. The last dragon was reborn 20 years ago. We don't know. And we see Moraine looking around Emma's field and everyone else looking at her pretty suspiciously. And look at these Emmons Field Woolens, my god. We don't know where or to whom. Okay, so mystery. We don't know where or to whom. Then we see Padan Fane's wagon at the background. What I do know is my mission is to find them. Ah, oh, okay. What I do know is that it's my mission to find them. And we've got shots of Moraine just, you know, galloping through, looking for her dragon. And then the shot of the weaves and that massive motherfucking ice ring. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't notice this. Um, which, which I've seen on Twitter, but I've uh, I didn't notice it on my first watch. Uh, her tear. She has tear on the left eye. Oh, so beautiful. That was so beautiful, right? Um, if you if you caught it, and which everyone has been talking about, it is the sheep in a dragon's fang formation and it's looking so fucked up creepy um but we're running out of time the dark one is waking dun, dun, dun. okay and then the flame of tarvalan in this in this format beautiful is this the party i guess one is waking his Definite horror vibes here. I think there was like a flicker of darkness then somewhere there. Right? Did you see that? It, the one here. There's a flicker of darkness. He w his whispers are already in the back of our minds. So the boys wake up. Egwene wakes up. Misdirection. Or even a, no, I think it's misdirection, guys. And then we see Dan the Mirror on top of some outcropping. If I do not succeed, the earth itself will burn. Oh my god, I didn't notice this before. This is Seguin and, and Marin Alvier. I don't know why I'm feeling theory. This is. Look at that. That's so much emotion from. For Madeline Madden. Oh my god. You know, you feel you really feel the stakes. Also, um, the the caption is if I do not succeed, the earth itself will burn. Dramatic. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shots, my god. Thirst of time. I present you. Ran blowing a candle. Let's do it again. <laughs> Someone gif this right away because this is school. <laughs> I can imagine the tweets. I haven't seen the tweets yet, but I can imagine the tweets. I want Ran to blow me like that candle. <laughs> yes. Ooh, Mashadar. Or, well, Mashadar is a white mist, but I guess they're going with black here. Did you see that? Did you see. Um, so that's uh, Rand and Egwene. R Egwene's looking so rich, man. That's a, that's a beautiful coat. 
so rich. You see, you see Rand here and Egwene looking well off, Perrin in his blacksmith attire, and Matt look so disheveled. Like, it must be cold out there, and it looks so like disheveled. But against him, the dragon has been born again. The dragon has been born again. Mashadar eating the horse. Who is the dragon reborn? Who is the dragon reborn? Who is the dragon reborn, guys? Who, who, who? Um, okay, I, I just want to uh, lay out my thoughts on on the misdirect on who the dragon reborn is and, and the inclusion of Egwene. So I definitely think it's good to have a, a, that mystery. Uh, what I don't like about the idea of Egwene being um, a, a dragon contender is the fact that um, it loses the the stigma of a male channeler. Uh, but I did see uh, Podcast of the Dragon tweet out, you know, um, imagine Moraine thinking, I hope it's the girl. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, that's also a legitimate perspective. Like, uh, she's probably thinking, Oh light, I hope it's the girl and I don't have to deal with a male channeler. So that that's cool also. But um well I I don't think um I don't think Rafe is gonna go push that far and then, you know, not have Rand as the Dragon Reborn. But it is nice to have the mystery. And to all the haters or to all the people who are watching the Wheel of Time trailers for the first time, teasers are meant to misdirect. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down, everyone. So yeah, it's so beautiful. Um, I, I can't wait. I really can't wait for November 19, but I really hope I'm able to watch it because of all the restrictions and stuff. Who do I need to talk to, Wheel of Time? Who do I need to talk to so that it's available in Singapore? Anyway, that's all for now. I'm actually gonna go on a live stream with Sarah of Maidens of the Spear. Uh, to talk about thirst of time if you liked watching this reaction and my thoughts please like and subscribe comment down below it really helps the channel and if you didn't like my opinion or thoughts just remember it's just somebody's opinion somebody's opinion